barbecuing today. I got to work outside, and barbecuing takes time. Now I'm going to be doing a chicken and some of these right here. See that? Sweet breads. Mojejas. I call them brains. They look like guts. That's why coyotes eat guts. Because if you eat those, you're going to need a new gallbladder. They're real rich. I need to deep fry some of them put them in a taco. These things are awesome, but they look nasty before you cook them. But, you know, we're going to barbecue them today because I'm going to put some smoke on them see what happens. Now the chicken, you know, no big deal. You get your smoker rolling at about 250. Let it roll for about three hours. It's done. Now these uh, mollejas, going to wrap them in tin foil for about an hour or so, probably an hour and a half. And then open them up for that last half hour let that smoke really get to them. We're going to put them in tin foil. We're going to season them real heavy. And we're going to eat. So it takes about three hours. You cook the chicken inside, it's an hour and a half at 350. Not a big deal, maybe two hours. But outside, with the smoke, you're at 250. You got to give yourself some time. And I got to cut the grass after all the rain in Houston. So I'm going to be out there sweating my butt off. So let me show you what I'm going to do because I want all the skin off this chicken because you know that's the best part is the skin. So we're going to cut it down the spine and open that thing up. I think they call that a spatchcock chicken or something. I don't know. You always get stuff fancy names. We're just going to open it up. Now this usually is pretty easy. Get your big knives out because you know everybody likes playing with big knives. Got to get through that rib cage. Right down the spine. And they left a lot of neck meat on here. Now I'm telling you, if they put the neck in the chicken and you just throw the neck away, pull the skin off and freeze it. When you get a big old pile of it, deep fry it. I'm not kidding either. Now, stupid me, I cut it in two pieces. I cut so deep, I cut it in two pieces. But that's okay, because we'll just do it like that. Well, you know what? Screw that. We're just going to... It was supposed to be together like that. And you know what? That's good enough for government work. So, we're going to season both of these real heavy. And, uh... We got the giblets out of here. I like the hearts and the gizzard. I'm going to throw those in with the mo. Yes! I like saying that. And I don't know why. And you know what we're going to season it with. Right there. Caribbean heat today. Now before I really get into this and start pitching my product, I'm going to give a shout out. A guy named Rick Perez contacted me, man. He said, you know, I love your world-renowned, you know, internationally known cooking videos. Yeah, really said that. Anyway, he wants a shout out for the Newell Shop. They all work at the same shop together. It's called the Newell Shop, so I want to give you guys a shout out. Got some other guys over there. They got a straw boss called James, so I'm going to give you a shout out too. Got a guy named Linus. At least that's the way he wrote it. I'm going to give you a shout out. They eat. And Rick tells me that you really love the huevos rancheros cojones. Now, if you haven't tried those, you really need to. And there's one other guy called Big Country. Now, with a name like that, all I can figure is that's the guy I want to go drinking with, but I don't want to buy. Yeah, yeah, Big Country. You know, I'll probably turn on WWF. Hey, he's probably coming out there in rhinestones and stuff and chaps. Yeah, you guys at the Newell Shop are going to enjoy that. Yeah, I know, you got a visual image in your mind right now, and you really ain't liking it. So, anyway, Big Country, giving you a hard time. Because I'm sure while you're holding up that shovel you at that shop or whatever other tool or hold that cup of coffee, they're giving you a hard time. So, just saying. Anyway, let's season this bad boy up. Now, I said I was going to use my Caribbean heat, which I am. I'm just going to do it on half. The other two, the other side of this chicken, I'm going to give the wife a break because this is spicy. I'm going to go with the fajita and the redneck rub. It'll make it look real good and everything, and she'll eat it. She really doesn't kick off on the on the spicy stuff like I do. I should throw some zombie on this, but this is actually pretty strong. I'm gonna rub it down real good. I'm gonna get it all over the place. This is the final coat. It's definitely gonna have some kick. It's gonna look real pretty. 
and did a little anti pro sprint right there. Look at that. Can y'all see in that? It's not bad. Okay, let's do the other side. There's the other chicken. I'm gonna go with my fajita seasoning. I always mix and match my stuff. It's just the way it is. Because some things need to be, ju you know, juiced up a little bit. You get some flavor out of this one, a little bit out of that one. You can use them alone, or you can address the situation. All right. Now let's make it look pretty. This is my prettiest rug because it's nice and red. It's got all that fancy paprika in it. It's got a little sugar in it, a little pepper. Can't give you all my secrets. Almost looks like a crawfish. That's gonna put a good bark on this. Who's your daddy? All right. See what I'm talking about? Now you guys at the noodle shop, I was just wonder when you're watching my videos, because most people ain't watching them at home. So I'm kind of figuring the straw boss is standing there watching them on his phone and you know straw boss James there and then the other guys are actually maybe doing something probably just drinking some coffee that's usually how most shops work the new guy gets to do everything now let me hook you up on a big old secret for barbecue your barbecue and all day the more free beer you got in that cooler hey at the end of the day I guarantee you could barbecue a car tire you're gonna be the man it's just this just something they go hand in hand so keep that in mind next time we barbecue. Yeah, old rusty smoker. Now I'm gonna place these way down here under the vent. I'll put the mollejas down here in about 45 minutes. And that's pretty much it, y'all. Set it in there and let her smoke. <laughs> Biggest problem with barbecue, you gotta take your time. Or you gotta have the time. I'm gonna tell y'all, it's hot. Too damn hot. And it's only 90 degrees. We got a couple more months. When it hits about 100, yeah, it's gonna be real good. But with all this humidity from all that rain, man, it's just bad. So anyway, we're gonna take this Moye house right now, and we're gonna cut it up into cubes. And then we're going to wrap it in tin foil, we're going to season it, of course. So let's get that done. Okay, as you can see, these are not very pretty. Let's see if I can cut through them. They're still a little frozen. I really don't care. It just helps me cut them. But that's kind of what we're looking at. Kind of looks like brains, but it ain't brains. It's thymus. I am being very lazy today, y'all. I should let these cool off and then bust them apart and then cut them into nice little pieces because these are probably going to fall apart into even smaller pieces but hey I'm all good with it plus the seasoning will get spread around a lot better but like I said I'm being lazy that's what we're looking at Yummy, yummy, yummy. Let's get this tin foil ready. You can tell I'm an old timer because I call it tin foil instead of aluminum foil. I doubt they ever even made it out of tin. It's always probably been aluminum. Oh, yes. There's about a million ways to prepare these. This is just how I'm doing it today. Like I said, I got the giblets, I got the gizzard and the heart. I like chicken heart, so we're going to give it a little something, something there, throw that in there too. Now usually I use my steak seasoning, it always comes out good that way, but this here is going to give it some kick. It's going to bring it up a notch. Put a hair on your chest, give it a nice color. Now if I want it real hot, I just throw that zombie dust on there and be done with it. Okay, we're looking good right there. Now this stuff here has a citrus piquin kick. So since it's got a citrus kick, as a lot of y'all know, I grow these things in my backyard in a tree. I found out the name, but uh, 
I don't remember what it is. But this, these things are real good. They're real. They're not. They're not like an orange. They don't. They're sour. But they're real good if you make like lemonade out of them. I'm gonna slide them down. Okay, let's address the situation. I guess I could buy those, that foil that is already a bag. That would actually be ideal. Okay, y'all opened up my uh, Mollejas right here. Spread them around. Now I'm just gonna let them crisp up. I drained the poked holes so it drain all the juice out. My chicken's looking pretty good. I'm probably gonna put some barbecue sauce on there just for grins. It's all looking good right there. About another hour. This stuff is done, y'all. It's been on about three hours, and it looks good to go. Let's take a look. Now check out, watch his leg. Bet you if I just pull this up, it'll. You see that? Did you see how it just broke? Now watch all this juke. Ow, ow, ow. That's hot. Hang on a second. All right. Now to show you, it's not dry. You guys catching all that juice? You seeing that? And all that juice is clear. So let's get these off of here. That's a one. Uh, see the skin kind of pull back right there? It's all full of juice too. Just gonna go ahead and gotta get in the meaty part. That's how we're rolling. Now check out those Moriejas. Sweet breads. Oh I gotta have one of those. They could probably go a little longer, get a little crunchier, but and do a little flavor test here. No, they're just perfect. Gosh, they're good. Yeah. All right, let me get those off of there. Now, let me tell you, those mojejas, those sweetbreads, are off the chain. Check that out. Now they got that. I put those uh, citruses in there. Damn it, that's good. It's so rich. It's got that citrus kick and then the pepper kick. Oh man. Oh, those are off the chain. I can't. These things are dangerous. Damn good. Try that with the citrus. Put an orange in there, maybe a lemon, whatever. I'm gonna let this chicken rest a little bit before I cut it up. And then we're then it's on. I gotta give me some beans going. I'm gonna have my own little fiesta here, man, I'm telling you. Alright guys. Three hours. It's that simple. Season it, smoke it, and eat it. Alright y'all, this stuff's ready to cut up. It's been resting now for, I don't know, 45 minutes. I, I got busy outside, as you can look at my shirt and tell. Let's cut it open and see what's inside this chicken. Those damn sweetbreads, I can't keep my hands out of them. I've just been constantly eating them. Probably not a good thing. As you see the chicken, about the last half hour I coated it with El Rabbit's barbecue sauce. And it just baked in. That looks pretty juicy to me. See all the juice still in there? Everybody likes your wings. Now that's just bark, y'all. Everybody, some people think it's burnt, but it's not burnt. <laughs> Let's just pull some of this off of here. Damn it. It's got smoke all through it. It's like candy. Perfectly smoked. Damn it, that's good. Alright, Rick. So I hope you liked the video. That's how I barbecue my chickens and my sweet breads. Try that. Throw an orange in there with them. I'm going to have to come out with an exercise video because of my great physique. Give it a shot. It's not hard. And I appreciate y'all watching. Check out thehogzone.com. Check out the hog zone. Got some sweet breads, some chicken. Oh, yes. Get you some. All right, guys. Appreciate you watching. And you guys at the Newell Shop, be careful out there. Ha 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 